All right, well, welcome everyone to today's uh, call. I do this call every single Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm just one of the many leaders over here. I think it's really important that we connect on a consistent basis, especially when we're trying, not trying, especially when we're doing something so amazing, phenomenal. I believe it's life-changing. Hopefully you guys got an opportunity to jump on my training yesterday. Um, I, I don't know if I ruffled a few feathers in my other leadership group, but uh, they don't always operate the same way that we operate over here. Um, I'm in another group where it's leaders from all other different organizations um, that I've connected with. But I did tell them that all of us, our team, we really truly understand that if you're going to do something great, if something fantastic is going to be birthed, there's going to be some stretching, some uncomfortable moments that none of us are going to like. We're all going to say that we're going to be able to handle it. But sometimes when you're in the, in the fire, it's a totally different um, level of like frustration when you're inside of the fire. So I labeled my training yesterday, um, stop whining in the wilderness. <laughs> And it, it had come to me because I remember right before I got into this company, this particular one, it, Reagan and I, like we, we had some battles in our last company. We, we know that we are going to be doing something significant, not just for us and for our family, but we're going to be doing something significant for many people's families. And I just honestly believe humanity. I didn't get into Tradera. You guys know this. I didn't get into Tradera just to do Forex or make some money. I got into Tradera because that's what was put in my spirit uh, years ago. So I'm on a mission, a totally different mission. And I'll, most of you have heard it, so I'm not going to go into the story again, but I want you to understand that we're all interconnected for a reason. I just met a gentleman today by the name of, of Larry out of Canada. And I truly believe like God brings people to you just to remind you that you're on the right track. Just when you're thinking about complaining, right? I talked to my sister last night, just when she was thinking about complaining as she's moving in to her new house, as her little baby girl who's two years old walks into her brand new room and says, uh, it's pretty. That's what the baby girl said, the two year old. As her um, son said, wait, mom, this house that we have now is really, really amazing. You know, how dare her complain or me complain, you know, and it's just a reminder that we're on the right track. It's not about the material things, ladies and gentlemen, but it has been a hard, challenging road to get to this place right now. So I, I truly believe that God didn't bring me this far just to be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Let me just drop you off and I'm not going to be there to help you anymore. So I know that we're going through some challenges getting to the next level in our life, but I want to encourage each and every one of you to just continually go through the fire. We are kind of like that um, pot of clay <laughs> or, you know, when they're kind of molding and shaping and it's all dirty and messy and it looks like nothing until you put it in the, in the fire. And then you got to keep taking it out of the fire. You got to do a little bit more polishing. It still is not very pretty. Kind of the ugly duckling. You put it back in the fire. You just keep doing that until it burns off all the impurities. And then you end up with something very shiny and beautiful. But when you look at where it had come from, you would have never imagined that that beautiful vase could have looked the way that it does now from where it had started. So I do want you guys to understand, we're going to go through the fire. You know, I just want to know who's going to go through the fire with me and, and truly, truly understand that when we come out of this situation, that uh, we're going to be shiny and new. So I always tell people, if you feel like you're going through hell in your life, do not check in motel hell. You better keep on <laughs> driving right through it. So today we're going to focus on really getting to our potential, developing as leaders. We are going to learn some new skill sets. 
which just means that we're going to have uh, one of those little fanny packs with some tools in it, or we're going to have a, a new toolbox with all kinds of tools where we can really truly become not just great traders, great marketers, but we're going to become great people. We're going to support each other along the way. So let's real quick talk about um, my updates, okay? I always like to be transparent with my team. A couple of days ago, um, some of my leaders had brought to my attention that they felt like some people's cards were compromised. So immediately I did take this information to the owners and they were receptive about it. Um, good thing is, is that they did all these vulnerability tests and they tested out all of the stuff and they realized that Tradera hasn't been compromised. It's actually, I mean, People are crazy right now. People are desperate, I should say, not crazy. But come to find out that it's been like a entire um, payment gateway of a lot of different companies have been hit. Like, um, what is that? Target. <laughs> you know, like Target's gateway had been compromised. So it's not Tradera's back office that's been compromised. It's a payment gateway. So a load of companies were hit. Tradera is aware of it, so they have uh, taken all the necessary precautions. There is going to be an email that's going to be coming out. They're just gathering all the information. But what I would tell you guys to do is not necessarily removing your card from the back office, um, because the back office is fine. It's the gateway. I would, though, get a new card. I'm just, that's from Freedom Mindset. That's not from Tradera, but whatever card that you've been using, I would cancel that card. I'm going to the bank today. I'm just canceling my card. I haven't been hacked or anything like that, but I'm not going to sit around and wait for it to happen. So I'm just canceling my card and getting a new card. Also, you may want to just consider when we're doing business online, um, I don't ever use a card that's connected to all of my money. Like literally in my car, the card that I use, I have to put my money over there, I transfer it from one major bank into this card. So when I'm doing any type of online business, I just don't trust stuff. Like people were hacking into the Zooms. I don't know if you guys were with me about a month or two ago. It was freaking ridiculous that these kids were hacking into our Zooms and I pay twice as much for my Zoom than I do for Tradera um, to talk to you guys every single month. I think I pay like a hundred and freaking, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about how much money I pay for my Zoom, but they were hacking into our Zooms and it was just ridiculous until they could get it under control. So if I were you guys, I would just, the cards that you have, just cancel those cards, get a new card, right? And then um, I have a kind of a, I don't want to say a fake card. What is it? I have a um, certain kind of card, like virtual card on my online businesses because again people are just crazy right now and they're looking for a come up and i don't want any of you guys to be affected if you've already been affected you know i apologize for that it really sucks <laughs> trust and believe my partner was affected by it so that's what i would do if i were you guys no need to be ensuing widespread panic please don't be running into my telegram uh yelling fire in a crowded space please don't do that right? Because you're going to freak everybody out. It's the, the challenges of doing business online is, you know, craziness will happen sometimes, but you have to be more problem solution. So nothing to freak out about, just get a new card. I would. And I would connect a card that only has the money on it to pay your subscription. That's what I do. Okay. Also, um, there have been some sign up challenges. So yesterday, I got on a Zoom with um, I got on a Zoom with David because they put this new IBO page to prevent people from signing up incorrectly, like they're signing up and they ended up going to somebody else's account. And I know they had good intentions, but that sign up page doesn't work. So the tech team last night was on it immediately, and um, I'm hoping to hear that sign up is going to be fine today. So um, I'm thinking it will. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Right now, I'm just kind of holding off. I got some people I want to bring in. I'm bringing them in on Saturday. I just let my people know though, guys, you don't have to tell them, 
oh, our, we're having sign up issues. People don't understand that. They're going to think, well, man, I don't want to be in this company because they're having issues. Every company has issues. Every startup that I've ever been in has had issues. Any network marketing company I've been in has had issues. So, you know, you can jump ship if you want, but they don't have a Megan Lynch over there. So good luck. <laughs> just kidding. So I'm just telling you that you want to make sure that you stick close to the campfire. And as we go through the challenges, they'll get them fixed. We're not fully launched yet. The back office is not fully launched. I did find out though that they are going to be implementing an app pretty soon. I'm not quite sure when, but the Tradera product, they want to secure it. They want to get rid of the Telegram because a lot of people are just getting free product right now. So they're going to get rid of the Telegram. They're going to have an app and then they're going to start putting the Tradera product alerts in the back office and it's going to run through the app so that people can't steal it. Okay. <laughs> they have to pay their $99. Also, I am super excited about the Blitz. Um, you guys know that I'm going out of the country. I'm going to go to Mexico. I'm taking a moment. I'm going to get some minutes or do whatever I have to do to make sure I can still stay connected to you guys. But I am going to have some leaders that are stepping in, but I'm leaving for Mexico on the 6th. So you're not going to miss me too much. It's a Thursday. So I'm going to be gone from Thursday until Monday, I believe. So we'll get it all worked out for next week. So there's calls still going on. This is the perfect time for many people to be stepping up and saying, Hey, Megan, can you put me on the schedule for your two o'clock or nine o'clock? There are already seven o'clock and 10 o'clock going on. So we would just need someone to cover the, the two and the nine on those particular days. So now is the time for you guys to start kicking it into gear. I'm kicking you out of the nest, right? You will be bad before you're good and good before you're great. You don't have to do the presentation like me. Find your own, you know, idiosyncrasies, those characteristics that make us all special. Find those about yourself and then just jump in. Practice using the one pager. Also, a blitz. On Tuesday, I want to do a blitz. I am thinking by then we'll have all of this, um, these challenges sorted out. So Tuesday, let's do a call a blitz call at two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. The two, the four, and the six are going to be like 10 minute. I'm literally going to have probably like six or seven slides and I'm going to do the 10 minute presentation. Basically, it's going to be a rally the troops. This is going to be an opportunity for you guys to tell your people though, hey, look, get on this call. It's going to be super short. Don't be late. So Tuesday is going to look totally different. 10 minute calls, it's going to be kind of a call to action, like get on the boat or else we're leaving your butt behind. <laughs> Our focus is to get as many people to 500 to 5,000 a month as quickly as possible. So we gotta start getting some momentum. Unfortunately, with all the system problems and the changes and this and that, it's like a really stop and go. But I wanna encourage you guys, um, if your entire team fell apart, I promise you, you could start over. You could start over with three new people today. It's a mindset shift though. You could literally start over with three new people this week and still hit legend, right? Technically in nine weeks, you could, right? And you gotta, you gotta have that kind of, kind of mindset. 10 minute rally, the troop calls, we're going to start over, right? Our goal is massive exposure. You're going to be maxing out your list. Call every single person you know and let them know, listen, this call is super short. Don't be late. If you get on late, you're going to miss the entire thing. It's going to be a 10-minute, really, really quick call. Max out your list. Call everybody you can. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them from one call to the other. It's what I did when I first got started. Instead of me trying to get you guys to launch, I'm just going to do it again. Because people don't get it. They're still not launching the way that I'm suggesting that they launch. I'm going to call every single person that I know. And I'm going to tell them, look, I'm doing a call at two. Don't be late. It's 10 minutes. 
get on. <laughs> and then at two o'clock, I'm going to do exactly what I did to my team when I first started. I, I didn't even have a PowerPoint. I just told them, look, this is what I'm doing. My goal is to put 5,000 people in this business over the next 90 days. You need to make a decision if you're coming or not. If you're not, hey, no problem. Reach out to somebody else who wants to make some money. If you are rolling, I need you to get back with the person who shared the information. It's 99 bucks. Every single one of you guys have $99. And if you don't, something's wrong. You need to be in this opportunity. So go ahead and get back with them. Get plugged in. You can ask questions later. Get plugged in. I need you to bring me five to 10 people. I'm doing another call at four o'clock, right? For those of you guys who bring five to 10 people, uh, those people are going to be able to potentially get positioned at the top of my organization. And we're going to get people to that 500 to $5,000 a month mark. All right, I'll see you guys at four o'clock. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Like, go get your people. Go rally the troops. And guess what I'm doing at four o'clock? Same thing. Guess what I'm doing at six o'clock? Same thing, except now you guys have more time. You got to commit to the blitz though. You got to commit to following up with your people. As soon as you get off the two o'clock call, you should be following up with all the people that you know that you called so that you can get them signed up and plugged in. Guess what you need to do with them? Send them the Holton Bugs video and send them the how to launch video. And you need to tell them, watch this video really quickly. And I need you to make a list of about 10 to 20 people. I need you to invite all those people to the four o'clock call. You got an hour and a half, <laughs> right? They got like two hours, roughly. Go call everybody you know and get them on the four o'clock. But you guys have to commit to talking like that to your people. You got to posture up. You don't have time to sit on the phone and talk to these people about every, you know, piece of the, the puzzle. It doesn't matter. Guys, listen, I don't care if it's socks and toothpicks. They're going to pay you 500 to a hundred thousand dollars a month. I don't care if it's socks and toothpicks, max out the freaking comp plan. And then be a dream chaser. Stop being a product lover. Listen, Forex is fantastic. I'm not knocking the product, right? Forex is fantastic. You guys could be making a lot of money on the Forex um, product that Tradera has. However, on Tuesday, I need you guys to be dream chasers. Stop being product lovers. Stop feeling like you got to know every single thing about Forex because guess what? You're not going to know it. <laughs> I've been doing it for four years and I still feel green. However, I do make $1,000 a month knowing very little about Forex. There are some people over here making far more money on the Forex product than me. However, I also know that this company can pay you 500 to 100,000 a month. So max out the freaking comp plan and then take your money and put it in your trading account. You could take one trade today in a $25,000 account and be done for the next three months. <laughs> so Let's focus for just a second. This is, I'm talking to you guys exactly the same way that I talked to my team, but I already knew them. I brought over 80 some odd people who I was working with all last year. And I let them know, listen, I'm not messing around on this one. If you guys drag your feet, I'm leaving your butt behind. It's what I told my people. I know that you guys are new to me and we don't have a relationship. Like I had a relationship with Reagan and Mia Dean and Ray and um, Tasha Hodes that's still over here with me, or uh, Michael McCoy out of the Bahamas, or Robert Dean, but you really think I messed around with them? I'm like, no, get your butt over here or else I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> so max out your list. We're gonna do a massive build up to the 9 p.m. Eastern call. Our 9 p.m. call should be ginormous. There is no way that there are 368 of you guys on here that we shouldn't have 1,000 people on my Zoom on Tuesday night at nine o'clock unless you guys just are not following directions. Because simple math says, if you focused on getting 10 people, 367 times 10, is 3,670 people. My Zoom will not hold that many people. 
my Zoom will only hold 1,000 people. If we don't max out the Tuesday call, I know somebody on here just didn't follow directions because you should have at least 10 people on the call on Tuesday night at nine o'clock. If you tell them, listen, the call is gonna max out at a thousand people. I need you to say that to them. The call will max out at 1,000 people. If you're late, you're not gonna get on, right? Max out the call. And you guys gotta follow up with your people. Collect your yeses, nos, and maybes. When I get on the phone with people and they're dead set against not doing my program, I'm like, okay, hey, listen, well, if you know anybody who wants to make some money, go after their hopes and dreams and partner with a really great team, you know my phone number. I got to go now, though. I got some other people to call, so hit me up if you change your mind. Click. Don't have time. Not even going to sit here and convince you. You'll be back. <laughs> they always come back or not. So I want you guys to understand that now is the time that we take this seriously. We are going to hit momentum. I know it's crazy right now, and I know it looks like Tradera might not be, might not make it, but it's a $99 product. They put a lot of money into it. It's going to make it. It's just going to be a bumpy road for just a little bit, for the next 30 to 90 days. But guess what? Part of the story is that we still made money in this company, and stuff was all jacked up. That's my story. I still hit 50000 a month, and the system was crappy. <laughs> and they hacked this and they did this and we got other companies like the the three letter companies that I'm not even going to mention that are throwing salt on us I don't care we're still going to make a lot of money in the midst of all the craziness that we're going through so ladies and gentlemen momentum is really important we're going to drive our legs we're going to focus on you bringing in your top five to ten leaders you're going to focus on working with those leaders one in each leg. You don't need thousands of people. You need one person in each leg who wants to hit legend. I already have people on my legs who want to hit legend. I already know people in my organization who probably won't quit. And if they do quit, I already got their people. So <laughs> they'll be back, right? You got to take that type of stance in your business. I can't get emotional about every single person who quits the business because they'll be back, right? Because I'm not going to stop. And when we're at $100,000 a month off of a $99 product, they'll be back. So all you guys have to do is you have to focus on bringing in people and figuring out who your leaders are. You got to launch their businesses ASAP. Don't bring them over here and they're over here sitting for two weeks and they don't even know about the Holton Bugs video. They haven't watched how to launch. They haven't made a list, right? You gotta make sure you're driving your legs. Sometimes you gotta do it one at a time. If you only bring in one person, then take that one person in leg one, launch their business, they bring in three, take those three, launch their business, bring in nine, tap out that leg as far as you possibly can, and then get over into your other legs and drive those legs. No days off. A lot of people say, get ready, aim, fire. No, we just fire, aim, then we'll get ready. <laughs> we'll figure out where the kinks are, but we're already going to be at 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 a month. I was already at 5,000 a month before I even like really knew what I was doing. <laughs> I was just like, ignorance on fire. I'm calling everybody I know. And I created massive momentum. I couldn't stop it right now if I wanted to. Not a credit card hacking, not a um, glitch in the system, whatever. I still have people over here who believe that they can get to legend, even in the midst of the craziness, all right? So I want you guys to understand that we are going to drive our legs. If you have to start over because your entire team died, start over, right? What if you brought in all these people and they died? Start over. Go up under somebody in here, figure out if there's um, a heartbeat somewhere in your leg one and slide your person up under them. And then now I might be working with this person that I don't even know who they are, right? I don't know who this person is. They're way down here, but they have an active subscription and I'm going to just start over and I'm going to sign up a new person 
and I'm going to put that person underneath their leg one or somewhere. I might put it up under their leg two. If I find out that their leg one is already blown out, I might just drive up under their leg two and make them super excited. And now I got a person who's alive and wants to work with me. I don't care that all these people died. Go up under somebody who's still breathing and build. You build it though. Don't be waiting for spillover, create it. All I did is I signed up Jasmine. After I signed up Jasmine, I signed up Aaron. After I signed up Aaron, I put um, Tanny underneath Aaron. Then I put Stan underneath Tanny. Then I put this. All I did was I just started fires and now I got new blood. I got a new pipeline. And all I'm doing is I'm working my business. I'm putting people into the business, new people underneath people with a heartbeat and I'm starting over, right? You can hit legend. I'm telling you guys, you got to multitask though. You got to market effectively. You got to stay excited, make some flyers on postermywall.com. Create yourself a PowerPoint or a keynote. You don't know how to do that. Go to YouTube, figure out how to create yourself a little PowerPoint, get on a zoom, record it, upload it to your YouTube channel. You don't have a YouTube channel and you don't know how to do that go to YouTube and type in how to create a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's how I found Tanny or she found me on YouTube. That's how I found Jasmine or she found me on YouTube. Aaron found me on YouTube. Why? Because I'm constantly uploading content. Why? Because there are people out here who are looking for opportunities. How do you guys create a PowerPoint? Just go look it up on YouTube, PowerPoint versus Keynote, right? Use transparent images. If you guys want to put pretty pictures on your PowerPoint, just type the word PNG after your pictures, and then it'll give you a transparent, movable picture. I'll show you in a second, okay? It's very simple to do. Make sure when you do a PowerPoint, have minimal writing. I'm showing you guys right now. No empty space. Make it big enough for people to see, and then what's the point when you're creating a PowerPoint? What's the focus? Um, I'm getting ready to create a whole bunch of PowerPoints on just short things, like three minutes, just so I can put some content out there. How did I make $50,000 a month? Uh, this is what I did. It'll be a short video because people have short attention spans, okay? What else can you guys do in the meantime of you trying to grow your business? Create a YouTube channel. How do you do that? Go to YouTube and type in, how do I create a winning business YouTube channel? That's how I learned how to create a YouTube channel. I didn't know how to do it. So I YouTubed it, right? The irony. <laughs> Go to YouTube to figure it out and just start uploading content. And then listen, last thing. You guys, this is the model that I use. You can hit legend in, in nine weeks. I know because I hit 50,000 a month in seven and a half weeks. But honestly, I should have hit it in six weeks at looking at this chart. Start over, guys. Week number one, get a new person in your leg one. Get a new person in leg two. Get a new person in leg three, right? On your blitz, there's no reason why you shouldn't sign up three people if you're taking it seriously. Then take your three people and help them. Nine new people come in then 27. Then in week four, you would have um, 27 new people should come in in each leg. You would be at Bishop, $2,000 a month. Any of you guys be excited about $2,000 a month? It's $24,000 extra dollars for the year. Don't be getting greedy. Don't be looking at the $50,000 a month. I was just going to be happy if I could have added an extra $1,000 to my income because I would have paid for my rent. <laughs> That's what I was like. I need to pay my rent while I'm trying to figure out life. So I want you guys to understand that it's a very simple process. If you really listen to what I'm saying, PS3, peak people's interest real quick. You looking to make some extra money? Okay. Look, I need you to be on this call. It's going to start at two o'clock today. You guys can do this when you get off and then show them the plan and follow up with them. You got to follow up immediately on a three-way. Hey, did you get on the call? You got two minutes? Let me get my partner. If you can't get me, try to get somebody else, okay? The power of the three-way, I build my business off the three-way call, right? How to share the Tradera 10-minute peak interest video? 
go to my YouTube channel and find this video and listen and watch it, okay? All right. Uh, the, oh, last thing. The fortune is in the follow-up. This is where people drop the ball. You guys can do all this blitzing, making lists, calling everybody you know, but you better follow up with them. You got to make a list so you can go through your list a second time. Follow up with all those people. Don't leave money on the table, okay? If you don't follow up with them, immediately they're going to forget how they feel, right? You got to get them while they're still emotional, <laughs> while they're still like, man, this was exciting because they're going to get unexcited real quick. You got to follow up with them immediately. When you guys do follow up with them, make sure that you ask them a simple question. Hey, did you make the call? If they said yes, ask them, okay, you got a couple minutes? Because we want to figure out what they like best. Three-way them. If they said, no, I didn't make the call, be offended. <laughs> really? Okay. Do you have a couple minutes? You got nine minutes? Can you watch this video really quickly? Explain to them what they're going to see and let them know, listen, I'm going to follow up with you. I got a partner though. She's made a considerable amount of money or he's made a considerable amount of money. Watch the video. I'm going to call you right back in exactly 10 minutes. And guys, collect your yeses, nos, and maybes. Don't let people give you the runaround. All right? Last thing, what's your goal for today? I need you guys to have three of them. What are you going to get accomplished today? You know what I'm going to get accomplished? As soon as I get off this call, I am doing my 10-minute ab routine. <laughs> my 10-minute ab routine. I'm going to do my 30-day um, my sit-up, push-up, um, squat challenge as soon as I get off of here so that I can feel accomplished today. And then I'm going to invite a few people to my two o'clock call. That's what I'm doing today. And then if that's all I do today, I am going to pat myself on the back, drink a glass of wine and say, job well done, Megan. You've got some stuff accomplished today, right? We got to pat ourselves on the back sometimes. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to unmute you real quick. It's 11.44, so I'm giving you until 12 if you guys want to chat with me. So hopefully that was helpful.